What's going on YouTube? My Lark City today. We're back from the replay review. This time on Grimaldo's Tots card. Now it's looking like a very good card already. 57k, very cheap for a left back. Looks very good. Five foot seven and high, high medium work rates. Three star skill moves, two star weak foot. He's left footed. Has the average body type in game, which isn't too bad. Obviously, he's not the greatest for a defender, but he is a fullback, so it's not. It doesn't matter too much anyway. So we take a quick look at the attribute details. Obviously, he's 95 pace, as you can see already. I've decided on the chemistry style for him. I feel like anchor's going to be the best. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to keep the anchor on him. Obviously, max size. That maxes out the pace. Shooting's not obviously amazing, but it's not bad. Obviously, 88 shot power, 88 long shots for a defender's decent. Obviously, Parsons really, really good. 94 curve, 92 crossing, 90 short pass. So again, he's, got, he's gonna be very, very good at left back. Obviously, on his left foot as well. Dribbling's also top tier for a left back. 92 agility, 93 balance, 90 composure, 90 ball control. So again, you haven't really got to worry about him getting on the ball. I think he's gonna be really good in game. Now defensively, only 85, which isn't amazing. That's the only problem. Obviously, now that we're at tops, most defenders do have 90 plus defending. But obviously, with the anchor, it does sort of push it up a lot. Obviously, puts his defending awareness to 93, his, his stand tackle to 97. So it's not the end of the world. Puts his 90 interceptions up to 96 as well. So again, it's still made the card a lot stronger. Physically, this is again the only thing that might let him down. Obviously, 75 jumping. Obviously, with the anchor up to 85, and his strength up to 86, and aggression up to 86. Obviously, with the anchor chemistry style. Now, player traits he's got long passer, speed dribbler, and injury prone. Obviously, injury prone can be a pain. Obviously, sometimes when it does happen, rarely does happen though. Long passer, speed dribbler is what you're probably going to want from your fullback. Obviously, you want him to be good on the ball, good with crosses. Now, like I said, I think this card looks absolutely top tier, by the way. But the only problem is it's probably his physical that might let him down in game. Obviously, against a more physical winger, maybe like someone like a Zaha, someone like that. Uh, that's just an example off the top of my head. He might bully someone like this. But we'll play a few games of rivals. We'll see how we go and see what he's like in game. I am going to have him on stay back while attacking. I always leave my fullbacks on that. We can try him out as a wing back as well. I just feel like he's his shooting's probably not good enough to have, or he's not. He's, and again, he's not strong enough either to probably play as a centre mid or a CDM. Um, so yeah, we'll play him at left back and as a left wing back. We'll play a few games of rivals and let's see how we go. On. Okay, good defender there, but Grimaldo. Grimaldo, one v one, and he's. Pacey as well. Oh, I just couldn't get the pass away. Getting intercepts though. Just couldn't get that pass down the line. Getting Grimaldo getting in, doing his defensive work. It's very agile as well. Pace of him as well. Absolutely rapid pace. Again, should really be a foul. Yeah, and there you go. Ushers him off the ball, wins the throw as well. Very solid defensively, Grimaldo. Not only can drive out with the ball as well. That's what I mean. Look at the pace. There you go. Just drives past Hernandez. And great defending there, Grimaldo. Wins it back. He goes. Good body typing game as well for a defender. He's always looking to overlap as well. What a pass that is. What a ball that is from Grimaldo into Ronaldo. Oh, I should have an assist. What a ball that was, though. And great defending by Grimaldo. Up against Mares, matched him as well. Okay, nice interception. I was controlling there, obviously, but still got very good interceptions on this card. What a ball. Surely, there we go. Deserves an assist, Grimaldo. Very good cross. That straight on the money as well. Good finish. So, as you see from the gameplay, Grimaldo is he's very, very solid defender. Very pacey, as you see. You know, he's able to get back in, obviously, because of the pace being maxed out with the anchor chemistry style on him. Obviously, his passing's really good, as you see there. A couple of assists. Probably should have had more assists, obviously, because of the crossing. Dribbling-wise, again, absolutely 
top tier, by the way. Obviously, Mares obviously was a few times, and Zaha I played against. Obviously, he, he managed to just like basically shadow their movements. You know, he's so agile in game. Left stick dribbling with this card is absolutely really, really good as well because of his height, five foot seven, average body type. You know, it's going to be quite silky in game. Obviously, average body type is not the greatest body type, but obviously, depending on their height, it can be good. Obviously, he is five foot seven, so that means that he's going to be good in game. Now, defensively, he is good. Obviously, like I said, I know it's only 85 defending. Obviously, the anchor does push that up a lot. So, yeah, his defensive AI in game is really good. He does read the ball really well. So, he's got high interceptions, which I always think is vital on defending. Obviously, all of them are, are vital stats, obviously. But for like, interceptions, depending on their height and stuff like that, someone like Grimaldo needs high interceptions because he is only 5'7". So, the high interceptions on this card is really, really good. Physically, yeah, he's good. Obviously, the stamina you don't need to worry about. He never runs out of, of steam. He's able to keep running all game. His jumping is really good, but again, he is only 5'7", so when someone is 6'2", 6'3", he is going to get beat in the air. The only thing that sort of lets him down, obviously, with the back post headers is obviously his aggression. Obviously, he does only have 86 aggression with the anchor chemistry style and 86 strength. So, being 5'7", and, and, and all that added into one, obviously, someone like a, a Zaha, maybe a Son, someone like that who's got better jumping, taller, better aggression, that, that is really what it's going to come down to when, it, when the ball gets put in at the back post. That's probably the only bad thing about this card, obviously, is his height and his aggression and strength. That is the only thing that's going to probably let him down. But look, other than that, it's a really top tier card. Pace is really good. Crossing, passing is really good. Defensive AI is really good on this card as well. You know, he's Spanish, plays in Liga Nos, which is the Portuguese league, which isn't going to be the hardest league to link in. Obviously, it is, um, the Liga Nos did come out today, so there'll be quite a few top cards to be able to link him in with. So yeah, I don't think you're going to have the... Uh, 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 so again, I don't think you're going to be you're going to find it too hard to get this guy in. Obviously, Spanish there's going to be some. There's Laporte as well. who has got a tots card in Spanish. So again, I don't think you're going to struggle too much to get this card in and on 10 cam anyway. I do feel like the anchor chemistry style is definitely the best chemistry style for him because of his physical stats. I feel like ain't definitely boosted. So yeah, definitely keep the anchor chemistry style on him. His crossing's really good, obviously because of his height and agility. You know, he is like a, a winger to be honest with you when he is attacking. So. Again, you could play him as a wing back, you can play him as a left back. I don't think there's, there's a preference really in my opinion. Obviously, like I said, the only thing that will let him down is the back back, cro back post crosses. That is the only thing, obviously, when they do float the ball in a back post, he probably nine times out of ten will get beaten. Other than that, this is a really, really good card, really good left back. Obviously, it will drop in price as well. 57k I paid for it obviously I can see this dropping to at least 40k 35k so at the end of the day you've got a really really good left back here really top card as well Grimaldo very solid defensively now if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10 I'm definitely going to give it a, a 9 like I said for the price of it it's really good pace is really good Parsons really good dribbling defensively is good I wouldn't say it's absolutely top tier but it's, it's, it's a really good standard of a card physically is is good but not enough for me obviously for a left back I'd like I said with the jumping only being 85 him being five foot seven uh his strength being obviously 76 obviously I know we anchor it goes up to 86 and 86 with aggression but it's just not enough at this stage of FIFA obviously with all the tots cards that are coming out obviously a lot of them do have 85 90 plus strength and aggression so again obviously when their stats are getting boosted you know Grimaldo's still nowhere near them other than that, you know, like I said, it's a top tier card. When he is in the forward positions, he's got a very good cross on him, very good passing. So yeah, like I said, it's a really, really good card. You know, maybe you might want to try him in centre mid. I just don't think physically he's good enough to play as a centre mid. But like I said, you also again you've got the shot power and long shots again that might be interesting to you. So yeah, really, really good card. Really worth the coins to be honest with you. But yeah, like I said, as a I wouldn't say it's a top top tier left back, but it is a really good left back to get in, get in your team to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Really good card. Really enjoyed using it. And like I said, easy to link in as well. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA without spending any money on the game, looking for ways to improve your team, but not too sure how, or just looking for general FIFA chat, you know, as you do, you just want to talk about FIFA, talk about SPCs, join my FIFA Trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join, so make sure you go and check that out, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, 